Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing well and staying safe and healthy. This is Radhika here again and this video is going to be about how empaths can have OCD like tendencies and how do you cure them. Um, so this topic came about when I was talking to one of my clients and they mentioned that uh, like even while talking I could see that they have some OCD like tendencies uh, and of course we all have our quirks that we do but when the quirks are too much like this person was mentioning and uh, she herself was aware that it is a little bit it borders on OCD so she is not like medically diagnosed to have OCD but you can have different um, like different Mm, like level of OCD it can be of different intensities the the obsessive or compulsiveness that you feel um, it might not be a disorder but you know you might feel that it it is annoying to you basically when it gets annoying that's when you kind of have to give it your attention and see why you have to be this way why it has to be this way um, so yeah so if you identify with this or if you see someone who is an empath empathetic person maybe they're an empath or you you are looking at a narcissistic situation somewhere from the outside and you see a person in that situation is becoming a bit like compulsive or obsessive uh, you can kind of try to see what's happening behind the scenes here and if it is happening with you then you can kind of cure your own obsessiveness um, so if you have been in a narcissistic situation you would know that uh, the feeling of being safe is extremely low in a narcissistic situation the feeling of security the feeling of safety the feeling of uh, belonging acceptance all of these feelings that are very warm feelings you know which make you feel good which make you feel like i don't have to make any effort i am okay the way i am you know i just am and that's enough you know that feeling is extremely lacking in a narcissistic situation and for people who grow up in a narcissistic situation and who are now adults um if you actually trace back this feeling of unsafety of feeling unsafe of feeling insecure it will go back to your childhood and that's when the obsessiveness or the compulsiveness actually develops uh, because when a child is born what the child needs is a safe and secure environment which is accepting of the child as they are you know in the form that they are so if they are thin the parents need to accept the child as a thin child if they are fat the child needs to be accepted as a fat child if they are not very smart they need to be accepted as not very smart but we don't see that happening in in life you know parents are always putting their children up to some like uh, ideal that they have in their head they want the kid to do everything properly they want them to be well behaved they want them to be intelligent they want them to be like good looking take care of your looks etc so whatever that flavor is uh, for your culture for your religion for your family it will vary obviously but it's very rare that you find parents who are extremely accepting of the child as they are as the child is uh, mostly it is a very conditioned sort of a love that is given to the child that if you do this we reward you if you do this we punish you so it's a very um, like polarized view that the child gets that if i become this way i am loved so what happens is especially in narcissistic families the level of acceptance and uh, safety is extremely low because the parent can act like you know how narcissists act basically the parents don't 
care about the children or they are extremely controlling over the children they give very selective love if you do this we love you if you don't do this we hate you if you do this we praise you if you don't do this we shame you so in that environment what happens is uh, the child feels unsafe and there's a feeling of lack of control because at that level when a child is growing uh they need to feel safe and when they are not safe but they're not dying either so what they what happens is there is this feeling of lacking control over the environment because even as a child uh the ego wants to control you know even if a child is not actually capable of controlling the environment the child still has a growing ego that wants to control and the feeling of safety in a child is uh based in the root chakra the first chakra that you have which is called as the muladhar chakra so the muladhar chakra is the aadhar aadhar means support and mool means root so it is the first rooted support that you find in life so you will find that the more the more um uh, incoherent uh, a person's parents were when they were growing up the more polarized they were so maybe they were very nice to you but then they were very bad to you maybe they really were proud of you when you were like doing very well in school but when they were having a bad day bad day they shamed you so something like that some inconsistency in their behavior it makes the root chakra go out of whack you know the root chakra is not able to develop very properly and when the child is slowly growing from the from this feeling of unsafety uh the next chakra that you have is the sacral chakra so in sacral chakra this unsafety or insecurity it manifests itself as frustration so someone who's uh in the sacral chakra energy will feel unsafe or unheard or something negative and then the way they express this energy is like frustration you know like they want to do something but they can't do it and you see this in children a lot you know when when children are like in that growing stage where they are able to talk but not really like you can't really understand what they are trying to communicate um they feel a lot of frustration and they like throw objects because you know mom didn't understand what i wanted to say or something like that so basically in the sacral chakra it manifests itself as frustration and so for people who are in this energy it can very often ocd can very often come as like obsessive thoughts about you know something like taboo or something which is not allowed or something you know like um something very scandalous they they are attracted towards like very scandalous things or very like a uh, anti religious or anti uh, institution or anti national something very anti you know like anti so they kind of become like rebels because they are very frustrated but they don't have a cause you know they don't they don't know why they are rebelling they don't really have a direction to take their rebellion in but there is this constant feeling of irritation within them and you can actually sense it in their energy when you see them um then in the next chakra that you have like your solar plexus chakra this this feeling of unsafety which in sacral becomes obsessiveness uh in in the solar plexus it becomes more compulsive that the person has to do something you know because solar plexus is about solar plexus is the manipur chakra so this is the chakra of the ego where action is taken where you do something you know where the sense of identity becomes a uh, very uh, solidified within a person so at the solar plexus level this actually becomes the act of ocd where a person has to like you know do something to make themselves feel safe so this can be like um 
I have to wash my hand five times or I have to uh, you know have a have a shower before I sleep otherwise it will be like a disaster if I don't have a shower or it will be like uh, when I have a plate of food in front of me like my peas have to be separate and my carrot has to be separate and my rice has to and nothing should touch each other and um, I, in my professional life I have seen this where people are like uh, this has to be done only this way and it's like a very strict rigid mental structure that they really cannot break out of because it's giving them a false sense of safety and i say false because nothing really is safe in this world that's the reality of this world that nothing is safe but because this habit was formed in childhood it gives you that really like uh, like you know like you have a, a blanket that's your favorite blanket in childhood and you feel like oh inside this i'm safe it's not that you are safe it's just that your brain has created this pattern to make you feel safe so similarly in professional life i have seen like a lot of people who have these very like rigid processes that they have to go through to feel a sense of safety inside themselves but they just don't understand that it's it's just a mental pattern that they have and they probably developed it when they were a kid um so so yeah basically what we realized in the session and what my client also realized that this pattern of being obsessive and compulsive goes down to her childhood where she felt powerless in some way where she felt she was not in control in some way where she was not safe where she was not secure she was insecure so um so the way you can actually fix this is by feeling safe is by feeling is by healing your root chakra and to heal your root chakra you have to basically understand that uh in your childhood you did not feel safe yes that is true and that is why you have this pattern but also intellectually understand that nothing in life has guarantees actually every moment is different and um, the only feeling of safety that you can get is by understanding that you are here because existence wants you to be here and you have to be here and when you don't have to be here you won't be here and no matter how many patterns or how many procedures you follow you can't really change that rule and that's the rule of the universe basically and um, this is not something we can explain to a kid obviously because it's too complex for them but as an adult if you suffer from ocd uh this is the core understanding that can get you out of that mental pattern of you know doing certain things to feel safe um another thing you can do is affirmations like you can say affirmations i am safe i am secure i am protected i am helped i am guided so that will make you understand that there is a force beyond something that you can do to help yourself and that force is always helping you um and then there there are other techniques as well like you can do grounding you can take off your shoes and uh, walk bare feet on the grass that's really helpful uh, you can go hug a tree you can do gardening you can connect to earth in different ways you can make pots uh, get into pottery um you can lie on the ground uh you can um, you can walk on the beach uh build sand castles something like that anything that gets you in touch with the earth element uh because root chakra represents the earth element in the five elements 